As reports of coronavirus have spread across the U.S., so have incidents of anti-Asian violence. One-year-old man seen on surveillance video being pushed. Reported nearly 4,000 crimes against Asian Americans since the start of the pandemic. Assaulted Zhen Shea and 83-year-old Nok Pham. Swing an object at an Asian woman, then pushing her. Hurtful and misleading language from our nation's leaders are now making things worse. Chinese virus. Kung flu. It comes from China. I want him to call the virus by its proper name and not use racist tactics. Last year, she passed a House resolution condemning anti-Asian hate speech. I started to get voicemails. I'm calling about the Karate Kid virus. Hey, you look like a Chinese virus. Go back to whatever f Asian country you belong. Hey, Why doesn't stop. she go back to where You're she came from? So we need to make sure if we have any Asian spies, we need to be checking all of them. Eight people were killed in a shooting rampage. Six of the victims are Asian American women. Passionate pleas to stop the hate, stretching from New York to Chicago and Atlanta, where this week's shooting spree killed eight. Someone who has been fighting hate from the start of this pandemic, New York Congresswoman Grace Meng. Congresswoman Grace Meng fired back. This hearing was to address the hurt and pain of our community. And to find solutions, and we will not let you take our voice away from us. Congressman Ming has introduced new legislation, too, that would help protect the Asian American community. The Congresswoman is now pushing to pass the COVID 19 Hate Crimes Act. She told me that she does not remember a time when so many people who don't look like her are standing in solidarity with the community. I'm calling on Congress to pass and get my get to my desk the COVID-19 Hate Crimes Act. 